We have our first look at NHL 23 as EA Sports dropped the reveal trailer for this year's game. This trailer breakdown is presented by the EA Creator Network. Now, if you haven't seen the trailer in its entirety, you can hit the link down below. But in this video, we are going to go over the trailer frame by frame to see all of the new additions that is coming to this year's NHL video game. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it. Hit me, I'm open. What are you doing? Oh, man. Yeah, okay, we're gonna need some help here. All right, not a lot going on here early on in the trailer. It is a cinematic portion of it. You've got Zach Bell, Marissa Roberto, Wild Wing, and one of this year's cover athletes, Trevor Zegras, just playing a game of chill. Now, I will say it looks very stream-oriented, so maybe Twitch drops this year. All right, now we get our first extended look at the gameplay and it looks like they're really highlighting the last chance puck movement. Zegers getting knocked off the puck and the ability to shoot it while you're falling down. Now, I can confirm this does include passing as well. So that might help with people getting bumped off the puck. Now, instead of a stumble animation where you can't do anything and your player gets player locked, you might actually be able to pull something off now. All right, then the crew is joined by the other cover athlete, Sarah Nurse, which leads to the biggest screenshot of this entire trailer. It is now now confirmed that in EA NHL 23, we will have crossplay. One of the most needed features added to the EA Sports NHL video game, it is now going to be in this year's title. Now, the press release did confirm that this will be a November launch. It will not come at the launch of the game in October. It'll work a lot like downloadable rosters from NHL 22. Now, this is not just for Hockey Ultimate Team. It will also include EASHL, again, for same generation consoles. So PlayStation 4 will be able to play Xbox One. PlayStation 5 will be able to play Xbox Series X. I can't state enough how important this addition to the franchise was as we experienced what happened this year with the player base separated. The entire experience of the game just takes a massive hit. So while we won't get it at launch of the game, still have to give props for getting crossplay into this year's NHL. And I'm excited for the future of the game as a whole just because of this one feature. Now this frame also confirms that women will now be in Hockey Ultimate Team. Per the press release in a historic first IHF Women's National Team members can now play alongside men in a hockey ultimate team lineup allowing players to make their dream team of the sport's best player after their introduction last year national teams will continue to play a prominent role in nhl 23 as national team players will have both base and master items incorporated into hockey ultimate team events but this last part also has the potential to be a complete game changer and it looks like we're getting new strategies if you look down at the objective spot here, you can make out a few of these objectives that we've never seen before. One, score with the trigger player, score with the new 1-3-1 power play, and the last one appears to say get an assist with the power play quarterback. Now, there's no confirmation if the base strategies are still the same, crash the net, overload, and behind the net, but it does confirm that we're at least getting new power play settings this year in NHL 23, and that's a huge plus. Now the trailer goes on to highlight some of the women in Hockey Ultimate Team, Natalie Spooner, as well as Hillary Knight, before getting to a last chance puck movement by Sarah Nurse, showing off some of the new X-Factor card art that will be in NHL 23. So this does confirm something pretty obvious. Trevor Zegers does become one of the newest X-Factors in this year's title, but some of the women players will also receive X-Factors in this year's game. No lie, year over year, the card art has improved, and it's still one of the game's strong suits. Now continuing on with the trailer, it does show them hopping in to a World of Chell game. Again, it is confirmed that we will get cross-platform matchmaking in NHL 23, which appears to be the headliner feature for obvious reasons, as it is one of the most needed things for the NHL franchise. Now, all of this culminates in the setup for one of the more obvious plays that are being added to NHL 23, the Zegras flip pass from behind the net. It has been confirmed that this will now be in NHL 23. Now, before everyone reacts about how this potentially could break the game, let's not forget that the lacrosse goal added in NHL 22 was one of the most difficult plays, and there's maybe 10 people on the planet that could do it in an actual online game of Hockey Ultimate Team. The worldwide launch for NHL 23 is October 14th, and with the purchase of the X Factor edition of the game, you will get three days early access with a ton of other HUT and World of Chell items. Now, it's been stated for quite some time that crossplay was almost mandatory for this year's video game, considering 
just how bad it got with the four separate consoles in NHL 22. That being said, there is always a negative when it comes to a feature that requires this many resources from a smaller development team, and that's that the rest of the game is not going to receive a lot of updates from the prior version. As it stands right now, the big new gameplay feature is the last chance player movement, which could have some potential considering that being bumped off the puck and having bigger players in almost every mode is super advantageous. That could have a really positive impact on the game, but it all depends on how often that is triggered. We also got women added into Hockey Ultimate Team and what appears to be some new strategies for NHL gameplay. The Zegers foot pass, well, super cool. Again, if we go off what the Michigan was like in NHL 22, it just won't be a very used animation because of how difficult it was to pull off. Now, there are some more in-depth features that were announced via the press release. I'll go over those in detail in a separate video. Guys, let me know what your initial thoughts are of the revealed trailer, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for the most up-to-date news, tips, and info for NHL 23.